what's going on so in this video we are going to be talking about how you can import character creator 3 to iclone and then uh, take it to unreal engine 4 now i know i made a tutorial a couple of days ago on how to do this manually but what i'm going to show to you guys today is how to do this uh, via a plugin that is free if you apply for it it's pretty much free for indie filmmakers and whatnot and that is called the unreal live link now if you're not an indie or if you don't get approved this thing by itself is fourteen hundred dollars but i think if you're really serious into this kind of thing it's definitely worth it now for you to get this free you are going to need to buy at least the iclone and 3d exchange for you to apply for the unreal live link so if you have the iclone and 3d exchange go ahead and ask to see if you can get the unreal live link because you're about to see how amazing this plugin is uh pretty much this is all we're gonna need right here and on this page iclone live link exchange auto setup and character creator so with that being said let's go ahead and jump in the character creator this is the default profile and i'm not gonna be making a lot of craziness uh changes here and we're just gonna pretty much pick a random person and we're just gonna go nope we're just gonna go ahead and load one up and i'm just gonna show you the entire workflow and you're gonna see how fast it is it's it's truly amazing all right, so now that we have this character here, um, let's go ahead and give him some hair, to be honest. It's looking a little jank with that, that hair. Um, let's see here. should be base and then head morph hair. And then there's not a lot of dude hairs, to be honest. Um, you know, let's just give him this one. Alright, so now he has hair. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and send him to iClone. Now what's cool about this method is uh, Relution is actually improving what carries over from iClone to Unreal Engine for using the live link. So I know recently they just did props and physics. So that's pretty cool. So it's gonna carry it over from iClone. But man, it's... Um, it's pretty uh it's pretty exciting on what they can do so um here's the guy that we imported and i know he doesn't look as good because i have it here set to medium i can't turn it up to high but man my computer is already really really terrible so that's why we have that so what i'm gonna do is just save this guy so just in case we need him later on i'm gonna go ahead and just send him to the desktop and i put him in a hair tutorial and i'm just gonna do guy and i'm gonna save him as guy keep it simple after that all we're gonna need is turn in the plugin if you go to unreal live link you click on here it's gonna take you to the download page where i showed you guys earlier so uh you can download it there if you want but basically you're gonna end up with a file like this when you unzip and install iclone live link i'm using a 4.25 project so we're gonna go to that one we're gonna go to plugins actually yeah let's go ahead and copy the plugins and then what we're going to do is I have a project here. This is what we're going to be importing the Unreal Live Link plugin. As you can see, it's not enabled up here. So we're going to go to the Unreal projects. And we're going to go to, I think I named it uh, Merging. And then we're going to go to paste it right here. The plugin. Okay, so that's good. And then the next thing we're going to need is the auto setup so go ahead and click it for unreal download it and then whenever you're done downloading that you're also going to need something like this depending on where you put it in your computer you're going to see this auto setup so click that unreal 4.25 we're going to copy both of these and you have to do this every time um every single project that you have uh it's not going to save it so you'll have to do this every single time but that's okay it's not that bad if you go to merging again content and we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to put it right here on the root folder okay there you go that's good to go and then whenever you go to unreal engine you're going to see new plugins are available i'm going to go ahead and save this for now and then what i'll do is go to epic launcher all right so now in the epic launcher i'm going to go to my library so here are all my projects and down here is my vault now i know i've been using the interrogation room quite a bit and that's because about 70% of these projects that I have downloaded for free 
um, I can't open with my current computer, so it kind of sucks. So I'm hoping, you know, I get a new graphics card real soon. But uh, I've been using the interrogation scene because it's pretty easy. It's only 85.3 megabytes, so it's really good for tutorials. So I'm going to add this to project, and we're going to go with merging, and I'm going to add that to project that's going to download it. Uh, speaking of getting free stuff, you got to check this every month, guys. Uh, Unreal gives out a lot of free stuff. If you go to the marketplace right here, Every month, even though, you know, you're not really using Unreal Engine, go ahead and check it out because they f give out a lot of free stuff. Majority of the stuff that I use are free. So, as you can see, I actually downloaded and because you'll never know if you're going to use it. You know what I mean? So, I even got some sound effects and this changes every month. So, that's really cool that you can check that every month. There's a lot of free stuff that they give away. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go back to our Unreal Engine. And then what I'm going to do is just close this and open it back up. Let's go ahead and open it back up and our plugins are hopefully um, installed All right so this is iClone here uh, while we're waiting for unreal to load up uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, load a simple animation for this guy so if you go to content and if I go here in this motion tab there's a motion and these uh, these motion came free with the iClone purchase that I did so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know um, let's just do see if I can Make him do something. Make him talk serious, I guess. And if I press play. Yeah, it looks pretty serious, man. That's that's pretty scary there. And if I click on the scene, you're going to see what's all in there. So if I take his hair out and all that stuff, that's all good to go. Um, and then there's Unreal Open. Uh, we have to open it back up. That's okay. Okay, so now that we have Unreal Engine 4 back up, let's go ahead and go to the interrogation room, and you're going to see it's really fast. It's amazing how fast it is, because it's not that big. If you go, <laughs> you just see this, it's, it's like a little square, and that's pretty much it, which is brilliant for, you know, short films and stuff like that, because it doesn't use that much um, uh Power. So I'm going to press G to get rid of all that stuff. And, you know, I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be making another tutorial in here later uh, for setting this up for a short film. So let's go back to iClone and I can go ahead and close um, Character Creator because we don't need him. We already have him here. And then what I'm going to do is just go to Plugins, Unreal Live Link. I'm going to click on that and you're going to see it's going to pop up right here. All right. So we have a transfer and a link button. So remember these two, it's gonna be really helpful here in a second. We're gonna go back to Unreal Engine and we're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth, so just be patient. Uh, if you go to CC Setup, this is your auto setup and your iClone Live Link is right here as well. So that being said, if you go to Windows, Live Link, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this right here. And then what I'm gonna do is go to Source and then I'm gonna go ahead and connect. That means it's receiving. If I go to my iClone, I'm going to go to transfer, um, and then what I'm going to do is I don't want to do the prop or the camera or any of the lights. All I got to do now is press transfer file. And then iClone 7 is going to use the plugin to transfer everything to Unreal Engine 4. And this, this part right here, if you saw my previous method and how to do this, this is much better. But like I, like I said... If you don't get approved for the indie license, you're going to have to pay $1,400 for this. Which, you know, again, if you're really serious about this stuff, then it should be worth it. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to load up, and then we'll go right back. Okay, and... Alright, so if you go to Unreal, it's still importing some stuff. You're going to start seeing this thing called RL content. And that's actually the Relution content, and you're also going to see CC shaders. Uh, they're pretty much the shaders from iClone to uh, Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the post-processing here, because like I said, guys, I'm going to delete it. Because it's it's going to kill my system here in a second. Um, so this is as bare as you can. And then let's take a look at the uh, scalability. It's all the way to cinematic. Let me go ahead and just change that to um, high for now. So Because once you're running multiple things... It's uh, not a good idea to have a lot. You can see that really slowing down. You can see that like in the recording and whatnot. And and just like that, guys, we actually just imported this guy in Unreal Engine 4 without having to do any manual things. See, we just clicked a bunch of stuff, and here he is in Unreal Engine 4. I mean, that shader is not that bad. If you click here, if you actually click him, you're going to see that it's using high quality uh, shaders right there. 
It looks like it's still compiling though, so let's wait for a second. And that here doesn't look too bad, but obviously it doesn't have physics. Okay, so he is in there now. I'm going to go ahead and um, move him out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is just move this out, chair out of the way. This is a nice thing about Unreal. All right, so now he's there. But remember, we do have an animation um, on him. But that's okay. All we did there was just transfer the file. Now it's time for us to link the two. So if we go to prop, um, I don't have any props, so that's good. I'm going to cancel the editor camera. I'm going to turn all the lights off. I just want to import the um the character itself so if i go to activate link it's uh, the link is activated if i go back to unreal engine here we go he's gonna go back to the center of the field but that's okay um i'm gonna have to move him i'm gonna see if i can move this here i'm gonna have to move him in uh i clone because it's not gonna work if i move him in unreal engine 4 all right so if i go to this if i click him and then I'm just going to go press this and I'm going to try to see if I can move him, okay? And I know this is really small, but I usually have dual screen, but I don't, I can't record dual screen. So I'm um, going to go ahead and move him. So this way back, as you can see, he's moving back in Unreal Engine 4. Go ahead and move him. And I'm just going to leave him there for now. So remember, if you are trying to move the character, move him in i clone so if i go to the other way and i'm just pressing asd here guys just rotating around because it is really hard to see all right so now if we press play in the animation you're gonna see that he is actually animating so if i go press play here see that it actually animated him back which we didn't want but i think it's because i made a keyframe right here so i'm gonna delete that keyframe and then I'll move him back. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize I was making a keyframe. So I just animated him moving back. You know what? Let's just delete the table for now. How about that? Because I can't see anything. It's really hard. So if we go right here, and the, there's a floating coffee, that's okay. If I press play now, and I clone, now you're going to see that he is animating in I clone and Unreal Engine 4. Now, if you watch my previous video, in iClone, I recorded with a live face app, facial animation, and I also had perception neuron um, motion animation in iClone. And yes, absolutely, you can transfer those from iClone to Unreal as well. And that's where the magic happens. You can have facial animation using your iPhone, and you can have a perception neuron mocap suit, record that. Put it in iClone 7 and just transfer it to Unreal Engine 4. Now, this workflow is insane. Um, but like I said, if you're having issues with the performance, you can always turn this down to minimal. Because technically, you just you don't really need him to look that good here. But you are going to need to make him look good in Unreal Engine 4. So if I go here, I'm going to go to show FPS. We're at 90-ish. FPS right now, but there's no ray tracing. There's not much lighting that you know, I'm gonna use